Hi, I'm John Hamilton Gray. I represent PEI. Let me tell you all about myself. On June 14th, 1811, Charlottetown, PEI, I was born. I am the son of Robert Gray, who was a private secretary at Mary Burns. I was married twice, first to Susan Bartley Pennefather in 1866, and we had two beautiful children. After three years of marriage, I decided Susan wasn't enough. In 1869, I got remarried to Sarah Caroline Cambridge, and we had three children. Now that means I have five children, but I might have at least one child at each quarter of the globe, but that doesn't matter. In my early teens, I went to school in England, but due to my family traditions of being soldiers and politicians, I didn't want to be in school. I had this so-called military desire. In my 20s, I decided to make my military desire a reality. I enlisted, and after a while, I got to serve the 7th Dragoon Guards of British Army for 21 years. Being in the military for 21 years was tiring. So I decided to retire in 1852. I had retired from the military with the rank of colonel, and this is when I quickly became more involved in public life. Later that year, on April 12th, I was appointed to the Legislative Council by John Marie. This went forward my career in politics. In 1858, I was elected to represent the District of the Fourth Queens in the Legislative Assembly of Prince Edward Island as a conservative. Then in 1862, I was elected to the Provincial Assembly as a reformer, despite of my conservative roots. I impressed the governor so much that I was invited to become a member of the Executive Council. However, my acceptance of this position drew criticism from my colleagues and gave me a reputation for facilitation that followed me for the rest of my career. In 1864, I hosted the Charlottetown Conference. This conference was to discuss the possibility of a union of the Maritime Provinces, which were PEI, Nova Scotia, and New Brunswick. I hosted this conference because I was interested in the possibilities of the colonial union as a way to get greater bargaining power with Britain and the United States. I was highly in support of Confederation as it would be very beneficial. In this conference, I had laid the groundwork for the British North America Act of 1867. I supported the entry of the island into Confederation, but when they themselves rejected it, I left politics. I didn't want a life in politics anymore, so I went back to the old days for a change. I returned to the military with the rank of colonel, till the rest of my days.